Good morning, welcome to the Art Money Talk. My name is Mo. Today's question is how to create viral content as an artist or how to make my art go viral. I'll be sharing with you some of my experience on how I created some viral content. Okay, it's kind of viral, not a big deal, but still a considerably successful content on the internet. Perhaps it can help you make better content and make your art go viral. Our story. So one day my partner Greg, he's a partner in this project, also a partner in life, he told me like very upset and he said, well, I can't believe it, David Boy has died. I'm like, I'm sorry to hear that. But the worst part is people are making some portraits of him and posted it on in the internet and try to sell the portrait and it's like making money out of dead people. And this is not right. I was not a very good listener. I was scrolling on my mobile and I was looking at social media channels and I saw this post on the Chinese social media WeChat and I see David Boy paintings. So I clicked in and I saw some amazing artwork and I said, well, did you know that David Boy is also a painter? And he's like, I didn't know that, let me see the art. So we decided that the world has to see this. I mean, instead of some not even well-made portrait of him on Etsy, the world needs to know what he has done and what other, besides music and what other talent he had in order to honor his life. So we went on writing this article, we published alongside with some photos from this WeChat social media, and we acknowledged the, the source as well. And we published online on our own website. Soon we got in touch with so many people, they were saying, great content, I really love this work, keep going. And I also got in contact with David Boy's own team. So his managers, his you know, close family and friends, and we got this high resolution photo of an artwork from Mike Garson from his own living room. So he took this photo and sent it to us and gave us the permission to publish on this article. So we had this content that nobody else had. Soon we were featured by some very large accounts like The Guardian, New York Times, The Vice, even Board Panda, and we were like viral for a little while. Even three years has passed, we still receive a lot of traffic on this particular article. And also if you search David Boy Art, we rank number one on Google search results. Viral elements. From our story, you can see that we were lucky, that's true, but we also hit some of the requirements for going viral. Those are the viral elements. Emotion. The moment we found out that he was an artist too, we had this emotion of we must share it, like there's no way to do anything else, we must do it. And this emotion is genuine and it's not because we want to make a buzz, not because we want to get money, just because the emotion is pure and genuine, we were able to make it a buzz. Event. The death of David Boy is a very global event and also is probably one of the most mentioned event of that day. By reacting to such event in a timely manner, we got a lot of attention from the media, from the public, and it made us successful. Originality. We created original content, not just copy and paste from another social media. We wrote our own articles. Of course, a part of the photos we got is from the Chinese social media we chat, so we acknowledged that as well. And some other content we got is from direct source, like the photo from Mike Garson, and nobody else had that. So we had our own unique source of information. Cross community. Visual art is a quite small community. There are only so many people you can reach within this visual art community. If you combine art with another niche, you can find yourself with so much more audience, like with art with technology, art with sports, art with music, art with politics, with lifestyle, with travel, with extreme sports. Like this list is inexhaustive. You can reach so many more people by cross art with another community. Surprise factor. If you think about David Boy, you think about his musician, you think about his face, his album covers, usually when you think of him, you wouldn't think that he's a painter as well. By showing that he's also a painter, it gave this surprise factor that people didn't know. So it's like, oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Being featured. We got extra boost from The Guardian, from The Wise, from The New York Times, and so many other big social media accounts that featured and reposted our post, and that's also very important. It validates our information, our content, and also give us a lot more traffic than the one we already have. Your formula. Okay, so enough about us. It's time to talk about you. As an artist, how can you make your content go viral? I have made a list of four different steps you can go and check if you have fulfilled this four-step formula so your content have more chances of going viral. Number one, make your own website. 
Without a website, your content is on social media and you are literally working for other social media like Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, YouTube. You don't own your content if you post your content on social media, although it is your own account. Number two, make your art visible. Either through SEO, that is search engine optimization on Google search results or an emailing list, you need to make the first initial exposure to this content. It's like making fire. You need this initial spark in order to start the fire and make the fire go everywhere. Number three, learn what's trending. Use viral content tools such as BuzzZoom and learn what is trending. BuzzZoom is a powerful online tool that allows you to find out what is popular by topic on any social media and also use other platforms like Board Panda to promote your content once it's online. Number four, create content with viral elements. Like we mentioned before, it needs to be unique, emotional, with high quality, cross community, with a unique approach. You need to tick all of these boxes in order to create content that can go viral. However, I wouldn't suggest you to create viral content just for the sake of creating viral content. It shouldn't be like your goal. It should be, let's say, a byproduct of your communication. Just like buying lottery. Of course, you can buy a lottery for your chance to have a jackpot, but you shouldn't buy a lottery just the only way to change your life because your life goes on if you win or not. You need to be prepared to do a regular communication plan. If you don't go viral, it's okay. You can still live a normal life. And the whole point about learning how to make viral content is to improve your overall communication and to make a better communication strategy. Perhaps you don't make a huge buzz, but with the communication strategy, you can make a mini buzz, a local buzz, or like a small scale inner circle buzz, like within the fine art circle or within your region. And that's okay because with that much popularity, you can already kickstart your art career and so many other artists don't even reach that in their lifetime. So that's already a very good start. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.